So we are reading same program. Yeah. So which page? And I can see. Yeah, we will read uh, page sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. Yeah, middle of page. Okay. <clears throat> So we continue reading chapter three. Title is Land of Love. So we are reading from morning lecture by Guru Dev, 16th February 2014. So Guru Dev is sharing. My dears, spiritual life is only to increase your feelings, not knowledge. If you try to develop your knowledge, then you are in religious practice. If you increase your feelings, your connection with Swamini, that is spiritual. Wow. Hmm. <clears throat> this 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 is the Guru Dev that always what is that? Does not change. So spiritual life is only to increase feeling. No knowledge. <clears throat> so actually, this one is, I could remember, Uddhava Mahashaya. Uddhava is Krishna's friend, Krishna's advisor, and Krishna's, uh, I think, cousin or something, very intimate relative. So Krishna was telling to Uddhava, hey Uddhava, I want you to visit Vrindavan to, to consult my parents and uh, the gopis. <clears throat> then Uddhava has so much knowledge because Uddhava is a disciple of Brihaspati, who is a heavenly good spiritual master. So Uddhava is thinking, <clears throat> there's no problem. I can talk uh, spiritual things. You know, Krishna's uh, everywhere, Krishna's uh, Supreme Personality like Godhead. I can tell you them. So Uddhava visit Vrindavan and uh, meet Ananda Baba and uh, Yashoda Maya. So at that time, he was so much surprising how much love Maya Shoda has. Uddhava is beyond Uddhava's understanding. And uh, Yashoda Maya is like too much crying. 
and uh, she's like almost blind. <laughs> and <laughs> and her, her too much crying. And then there's so much, what do you say? This is uh, this too much crying makes some liver. So, and uh, he, she was thinking Uddhava is Krishna. And Yashoda Maya is like uh, embracing and uh, she was thinking, oh, Krishna came back. But Uddhava could not say anything because Uddhava's feelings, no, no, Yashoda Ma's feeling is too high. And, and also, maybe next day, Uttab try to tell how you are fortunate. Ma Yashoda and Nada Baba, how you are fortunate. Because you got Krishna, Supreme Personality of Godhead is your son. Would have tried to preach the, but would have failed. Would have could not, could not say, cannot, how do you say, cannot pass, can, cannot change their mind. So much feeling. And would have also meet Gopi, especially Radhika, they are feeling the more high. Radhika is always like crazy lady, always talking about Krishna, sometimes uh, hate Krishna, but could not stop talking about Krishna. Sometimes Bambri came and Radhika become thinking, oh, Krishna's messengers come. So anyway, so that feeling too high, Uddhava could not understand how much they, they have. Brajabhishi has love. And Uddhava thinking, I'm most, I, I know everything. <laughs> I'm Skara, I'm great friend of Krishna. I'm so intimate with Krishna. He has some pride, proud. But when he saw Nanda Baba, Yashoda Maya, and Gopi, and Shurimati Radhika, he completely absorbed in this Buraja mood. And he want to he want to put their dust of lotus feet on his head. Okay, that is also impossible because Uddha is Kshatriya and Gopi is lady and Baisha. It's not good etiquette to Kshatriya put uh, the dust of lotus feet of gopis on, on his head. So Uddhava won't become like grass or some kind of, what do you say, lata. Then in, in, in Braja, then gopi, step on that head, his head. That is Uttama's desire. So this Gurudev was thinking, by knowledge, we cannot enter Braja. By feeling, we could enter Braja. This is, this is Gurudev saying. If you increase your feeling, your connection with Swamini, 
that is spiritual. Some, I think, yesterday, somebody asking, why should we visit Brindaban? What we should visit Brindaban or not? So this is, why we visit Brindaban? This is many answer. One answer is to increase our feeling. How? To get associate with Lashka Vaishnava. Then our feeling may increase by their blessing. Also, Brindaban is, dust is very special because Shrimati Radhika walk around Braja. Mohan, Radha's Mohan also walk around Braja. So means Radhika's foot dust still in Brindaban. So, this is, uh, I just feeling this Guru Dev is some, uh, this comment, small comment. Probably I, I was, I was there, uh, good for when Guru Dev was talking. So if somebody could share, it is welcome, very welcome. I don't know, Gora Chandra may literally disappear. Or anybody, if you could help us. Oh, thank you, Gora Chandra. <laughs> I could not hear. Gora Chandra, I don't know. My problem. Oh. Yeah, now, okay. Okay, sorry. Maybe not working with my... Yeah, thank you. Now I could hear. So, I'm searching a story. In the beginning of the Kali Yuga, Narada mm. Muni is traveling and watching all the places. Mm. And he, he, oh, Kali Yuga has taken over. And he go to all the places and finally he comes to Vrindavan. Mm. And there on the Yamuna, he sees a lady sitting. Mm -hmm. And in her lap, there are two sons. But the, surprisingly, her two sons, they already become very old. <laughs> they look very old. But I don't get the story properly together. But the two sons are Jnana and Tapasya, I think. <clears throat> so in Vrindavan, they become very old. <laughs> Only Bhakti is presiding in Vrindavan. It's not place of jnana and not place of tapasya. But I don't know the story properly. It's a beautiful story. Narada also talking to her then. Who are you? Ah, I'm Bhakti Devi. Maybe you remember the story. I don't know, Jayananda Maharaj. I have yeah. to research and read it. This is a story of Bhagavad Mahatmya. And uh, I think... Sun is Gyana and uh, Bairagya. Yeah, and the uh, young lady is Bhakti Devi. And uh, I also, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> and uh, in this, and then I also, I forgot. And they start chanting, probably. Oh, Radha Charanji, you, you remember Bhagavata Mahatmya story. I think Padma Purana. I just 
on Zoom here in Shabbat's room. I do not know. I don't know what it's used to say. Sorry. I'm too, too, too busy. No? I'm too busy. Thank you. Uh, did, did you uh, uh, I only heard Bhagat Mahatma, that's all. And my name. <laughs> Guru Dev also busy. <laughs> okay. This is... Uh, I was... If Andakaji, you remember? Okay. Anyway, maybe then we can go ahead. For Japanese devotees, so we have Japanese translation of this Bhagavata Mahayatma, Shirimad Bhagavatam last chant appendix. If, 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 actually could share also, you have book. You yeah, by share. your mercy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, now Gora Chandra Prabhu said the same, Narada Muni and Bhakti Devi may, met. This is from Padma Prana. <sighs> this point is that uh, how to get uh, Narada Muni Shrimad Bhagavatam. I'm not pandit like you. <laughs> yeah, I remember. So at first uh, they chant Bhagavata Gita. But uh, Gyana Bairagya a little bit better, but uh, not fully. Yeah. So, and then finally, Narada Muni maybe chant Bhagatam. And then, then that Gyana Bairagya become very young again. Something yeah. like the story. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, story is uh, like this Jananda Maharaj and all. So, this Kumara, four Kumaras met Narada Muni. At that mm. time, Narada Muni was very disappointed. Mm. Why? Because in Kali Yuga, just Gora Chandra Prabhu said, in Kali Yuga, mm. Narada Muni tried to find the peace. Then Narada Muni saw very surprising situation near the Yamuna River. Situation is like this. Narada Muni told for, uh, for Kumaras. Near Yamuna River, one, one be very beautiful lady is represent of Bhakti. And the two old boy, uh, sorry, two old guy is uh, Gyana and Vairagya. Just Jayananda, Maha Jayananda Maharaj said. All the, all the Prabhus are to son, Gyana and Vairagya. By Kali Yuga, they lost power. But by power of Vrindavan, Bhakti can get use again. But this Gyana and Vairagya is, was weak still. Then Bhakti asked the reason Narada Muni then Narada Muni explained in Kali Yuga, people lost good qualities. Like a people is become represent of sin. That's why Bhakti and Jnana by Raga was ignored, will be ignored. But in Brindavan, is a holy dharma of love. That's why in Vrindavan, Bhakti can get power again. And this word makes Bhakti surprised. Yeah, uh, we'll go continue story or uh, is this enough? I see. So point is, I think point is uh, chanting because this is glorification Bhagavatam. So therefore chanting, I think Bhagavatam, they become young. 
And then I'm thinking why Kaliuga chanting Bhagatam? Because describes glorification of Brinda Bandira, especially glorification of Gopi and especially one special Gopi who Krishna <laughs> looking for it, this. So that Gopi by the mercy of Acharya, we could know this Gopi's name is Shrimate Radharani. So that means in Kali Yuga, Radharani's glorification will again comes. Especially Mahaprabhu came means Radha's glorification is come. Radha, Radha herself also come to Kali Yuga to dis distribute this love of Godhead. Especially that mood of Mahaprabhu, Gurudev saying sandwich. And then distribute Unna to Juan Rasa. I think a few days ago, Gurudev was sharing, very nice sharing about Jagai Madai. So, Mahaprabhu had, I think, Madai hit Nityananda Prabhu. And then Mahaprabhu appear. He called Chakra, try to kill Madai. At that time, Nita stopped it. That Guru Dev is saying, Nita remind Mahaprabhu, you are not Krishna, you are Radhika. I'm Anangamanjari. That is Guru Dev saying. So whenever Radhika comes, not only Radhika, Anangamanjari comes, Radhita Saki comes, Vishaka Saki comes, Rupa Manjari comes, Trashi Manjari comes. So I think this is Bhagavata Mahatma's <laughs> behind. I feel this is Brinda Bandira and especially Gopis and Radhika's glorification. That is my feeling and my <laughs> understanding. Especially in this Kali Yuga, it's very, very special Kali Yuga. Because Mahaprabhu appear. Mahaprabhu does not care who is qualified, <laughs> who is not qualified. He does not care because of Radhika. Radhika was like mother. Mother does not care children's qualification. So therefore, we have hope to, to get to her mercy or Goranga Mahaprabhu's mercy, Nita's mercy. So this is Gora Chandra uh, inspired us to remind this story. Gora Chandra, you want to say something? <laughs> Especially in Kali Yuga, Jnana and Vairagya have no power. Mm. 
they're so weak because in Kali Yuga, everyone is so fallen mm. that nobody understands real knowledge. Mm. Nobody understands philosophy properly. And nobody can do any renunciation. Mm. Everyone is so attached and so greedy and so deeply in sense gratification. Mm. So even if you try, Jnana and Vairagya always are weak. They have no independent power. Mm. But I think this is the story. I think the Kumaras or something they say to Narada Muni, wherever mm. the Srimad Bhagavatam is chanted, mm. Bhakti will grow. And also, Jnana and Vairagya will become strong. And you pointed out what is the meaning of Srimad Bhagavatam. Why it is called the uh, ripe fruit on the trees of the Vedas, no? like the mango, full of mm. juice. Because in the Srimad Bhagavatam, we see the Krishna Vrindavan Lila, the highest. And then gopis and secretly Radharani is there always. So when this is being glorified and bhakti is growing and not vairi bhakti, raga bhakti. Wow. What Gurudev is saying, it's about feelings. It's not about knowledge. Mm. Especially in Kali Yuga. Only grow the feelings. Love. Raga Bhakti. <clears throat> then, Jnana and Vairagya also can follow that. Meaning all realization coming. You realize everything. You mm. don't need to independently try to understand everything. Everything will be understood. Who I am, who is God, what is my relation. So there is nothing more to know. So jnana is everything is realized when it follows bhakti and renunciation also automatically coming. We try to be so absorbed in our loving relationship with Radharani. Wow. That we don't have time. <laughs> we don't need to artificially artificially renounce things. We only want to be in love with Radha Mohan. And we forget our attachments. And everything that is provided, we use in the service. This Yukta Vairagya. Mm. We don't say no to anything. We take everything but we use for the service. So we not stop eating like a yogi, but we offer to Radha Mohan and take the mercy, the prasad. So, Jnana and Vairagya become strong if they are following to Bhakti. But independently, they have no power. They are old, they will die. <laughs> but Bhakti will never die. <laughs> Radhe. I remember one bus, you know, like a Sarva Bhattacharya is like a very, very, what do you say? With very knowledge, you know, especially Nyaya, all knowledge he has. And after I met Mahaprabhu, he changed. His mood was so changed. He's, he has so much feeling. And then he, he said one bus, very famous bus. Bairaga vidya nija bhakti yogam. Shikshartan eka purusha prana. Shri Krishna chaitanya sharira dari. Kripam buddhi yas tamaham prapande. 
So, Sarvamata Chara was saying, Let me take shelter of Supreme Personality Godhead Shri Krishna, who has descended in the home of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Maybe if Gurudev is saying, <laughs> then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is, who is Radhika? Who is Radhika's mood? And the Mahaprabhu teaches real knowledge. Real knowledge. And his devotional service. And detachment from whatever does not foster Krishna consciousness. And he has, he descend because his ocean of transcendental mercy. Let me surrender unto his lotus feet. So maybe a little bit. So this is today's feeling. <laughs> Guru Deva's feeling. Feeling. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So next we will read Gurudev's sharing from morning lecture on 28 February 2014. Mm. Radhe Mere Swamini, my dear. You want to be in love, and love is coming from her. Wow. And when this appears in your eyes, it goes to the heart and mind. And they also become pure. Mm. The tongue also starts moving only with love. No negative vibration is coming from tongue because my heart and my mind is only thinking for you, my dear Swamini. And you are only love. Mm. Like, it looks like Gurudev as, as, as Manjari and seeing the kind of intimate leader or before or maybe in, after. <laughs> so, Radhika is always want to be in love with Radhika's Mohan. And love is coming from Radhala who is, who has, or who is Mahababa Chintamani, who has Madanakya Mahababa. So, and uh, Manjari could understand Radhika's feeling. If see, if Manjari see Radhika's eye, what kind of indication, what kind of feeling she has, Manjari could understand. So this feeling come into Manjari's heart and mind also. If our sadaka, if sadaka uh, lead, what try right to see in this vision, in this feeling, just lira and feeling 
it goes to the heart and the mind, then that heart and mind become very pure. Actually, every morning and evening, we are listening Harikata, especially Radha Kata. It's like uh, we are drinking nectar from ear. And that our feeling increasing after hearing Lashka Vaishnava. Then the tongue also start moving only with love. Like yesterday, Uttavaji's lecture, <laughs> full of love. I was amazing how, how he has uh, in, in vision with love in Radhika. Then no negative vibration is coming from time because one point for Swamini and Swami Seva. So it's it, like Guru Deva's seeing this kind of, yeah, and sharing his feeling. Oh my God. So, my dear Suniti, Suniti, <laughs> if, you, if you could sharing, you know, Guru Dev's thing, you know, Mohim lecture or Anza lecture, I am not so fortunate to hear Guru Dev's morning lecture so often. Radhe Radhe, my dear. Uh, you want me to repeat what what was sh was going in the sharings? Yeah, what well, you know, but you, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the morning, or or like a whatever sharing in this connection, whatever. Yes, yes, you are so right. We need to have this nectar through the ears, and that will nourish uh, my heart. I am also like this. If I am dry, I am very unhappy. <laughs> So this um, this two weeks, Gorasunda Prabhu was there, and he was so uh, uh, immersed in the morning classes with Gurudev. But also here, some devotees were here. Ramani Priya was there, and also Kishori most of the time, and and uh, some other nectar uh, greedy nectar hunters, <laughs> bumblebees. We always said before in Iskon. You remember? Nectar bumblebees, yeah. but now maybe I would not say that, but I would say that they are very greedy to hear uh, the remnants of the Adaramrita, of the, the, the nectar that comes from the lips of the Vaishnavas, especially Gurudev. And Gopika was always there in the morning. They have actually two classes, you know, they, they start in the, in the very early morning. And sometimes they also meet at night. Sometimes they met at three o'clock, four o'clock in Gurudev's room and they were sharing. And what I got from the last week, it was uh, so much about the verse 85 from mm. Vilapa Kushmanjali. Mm. There it was explained how Chaitanya always want to relish this Radha's feeling, but also then Gurudev explained some realization came and they were churning and churning how this Mahabhav of Swamini is absorbing Mohan that he becomes Radhika. He becomes, it's not like only feeling, but now he is Radhika. 
Mahabhav comes to him, Swamini, and he is relishing. And then it's like he becomes her. This is the Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. That is when when Hare comes to Krishna in Chaitanya, then he becomes Krishna, Krishna very much amazed and Hare Hare, he becomes that Mahabhav. Mm. So that was very amazing for me. I never listened this before. And then what happens when Krishna becomes Radhika and there's something missing, missing, yeah, we need Krishna. <laughs> Without uh, Krishna, Radhika is not happy. <laughs> so Radhika becomes Krishna. And then that is the Hare Ram in that case, in that feeling. So some new feelings come. Hare Ram. This is Radhika in her Mahabhav. She becomes Krishna when he becomes Radhika. So they are exchanging also their, their roles in this Mahamantra. They are meeting. I mean, we have heard that Krishna wants to relish Shrimati Radhika's feelings and that. But in that oneness, he becomes Radha and Radha is taking the role of Krishna because her Mahabhav is so great that always she wants to make him happy. And he wants to be her or he, he becomes her by too much closeness and they are together in one person, right? Chaitanya. And that makes a new, completely new uh, feeling for both of them. Wow, and that was what I got. I mean, I'm very uh, beginning uh, to try to enter into this, but Gurudev was uh, very enthusiastic and also Gora Sunda knows more about it. And I make this uh, proposal that maybe on Sunday class in German Zoom, he will speak about that because I think they have so much intense um, closeness in that mm. morning uh, Brahma Mahuta classes in Monge Mandir, and Gora Sunda said that now he has a new realization about Brahma Mahuta importance. That is that these two hours before the sunrise, or let's say the night at all, because in the night it is so peaceful, not only materially peaceful. The mind is, you know, ready to uh, absorb the deepest, deepest issues. And uh, he said also, I remember that I was one or two times there because in Germany it's also very early then. Mm. But he said that um, the, the Mandri's activities are in the night because our main service is to, you know, assist the divine couple, Sri Radha Mohan, when they are meeting. First of all, arranging the meeting, uh, trying to get the obstacles out of the way, whatever obstacles there are. And then in the meeting also be there and be alert, not sleeping, but be awake. But when the divine couples sleep, then, then also mandris fall asleep. Sometimes they massage the feet, like we are also with Gurudev in this room, and we are massaging, and then both fall asleep, devotees and Gurudev. That is so sweet. It is such a nice feeling for that. To remember that, what is uh, my uh, eternal service? And so that... Rama, Rama, Hare, Hare. It's like full. Radha, you know, becomes in her Mahabhav. And then she 
takes in that uh, mood, she takes on the role of Krishna because Krishna is missing. And what can, because Krishna became now Radhika, what can Radhika do without Krishna? So Krishna, uh, Radhika has to become Krishna. And then when they are meeting in this um, uh, Prema Vilas Vivata, it is called in Sanskrit, it's the exchange of roles that is very pleasing to Mohan. And of course, also pleasing the eyes of the mandris who can see and who can feel it. And another thing happened this morning also. I was reading in uh, Adaras Sudanidi in the commentary of Anantadas Babaji, he said uh, that the, actually all the living entities, whether they know it or not, they can only taste what the Divine Lord has also tasted. You know, what comes from the Divine. Everything what we do, we try to have pleasure. It is already, a, a, you know, this pleasure that comes, we know from Srimad Radhika, she is pleasure-giving potency. And she is giving love because we want love or we want to feel love and to feel the Divine. But then he also says that in this process of, of uh, bhakti, that is the prasad we are tasting in a conscious way now. Can you imagine that? Mahaprabhu, he came to relish, right? And then at this time where we are living now, we can have this relish. Then something came to my uh, little uh, understanding why this manjari bath could not be given or cannot be given before. Because before all the avatars were only Krishna avatars and then also Krishna did not relish this. But in this fallen age, Mahaprabhu is you know, not only walking in the Kunja Lila, he is completely absorbed in Mahabhav inside, and we are now in the Nivrita Nikunj. And Radhika becomes Mohan to assist that. So, because he is fully in Radharan. And because of this, because Mahaprabhu was experiencing this here on this planet, on this earth planet where we are here now he also gave this potential this chance for us to enter into the service when they are in this mood and i thought wow because we can relish their prashad right because he has tasted it they are tasting it of course they are always tasting it but now because this incarnation, this most merciful incarnation is coming, is, you know, just around the corner, so to say. And Gurudev said, this is the most audaya for the people of this Kali Yuga, the most uh, generous gift, present, mm. Mm. possibility. Mm. That is this when Mahaprabhu in himself becomes Krishna, becomes Radhika, Radhika becomes Mohan, and this is shared. That is a very deep, um, deep subject for meditation and for, you know, in the Mahamantra to, to feel that, that we are now also having the chance to be in that, um, how do you say that? To be in that feeling, because it's their prasad. So that is amazing, and that is a very deep thing. And um, I want to ask my Gorasunda, he will come arrive here tonight, that on Sunday we can share it again, because I think it's not only a small realization. 
It's a big, 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 deep thing. And I think for three days they were churning and they always come back to this verse. 85 of Vilapa Kushmanjali. And I, I think it's so nice, like you said, Jainanda Maharaj, you are also very busy, you give classes. Uh, we want to know what's uh, what's a Gurudev's meditation, what is happening in Vrindavan, in this like Gambira room of Gurudev. What is the, the deep feelings there and how to also share and get some drop of this mercy in my heart. I hope I could... Uh, uh, say something that is uh, making you happy, Jainanda Maharaj. Thank you, thank you. I'm very happy. And uh, I just, uh, uh, like, you know, we know the leader, morning Radhika wear blue shawl. And no, no, yellow shawl. And then Krishna wear a uh, blue shawl. So I don't know how many months ago we are also discussing. This is also the same thing. Yes. Radhika, Radhika become Mohan, Mohan become Radhika. And uh, probably Chaitanya Charita Murita is also Prasada from all, you know, kind of Mahaprabhu and uh, our Goswami's prasada. And Radha Rasa and Virapak Sumanjali, also prasada of Acharyas, especially someone who has Manjali's Baba. So Guru Deva is sharing us this very deep subject. This is Mahaprabhu's Lila is very <laughs> actually deep. Sometimes we reading Chaitanya Charita, we are thinking, oh, I got, but actually, no, we can go more, go deep and deep. So just one bus, it takes many days to, to go enter a deep. This, so we are just to, Looking for Sundays, Gora, our Gora Sundara, and <laughs> SNT and other. Maybe Radha, Radha Charanji also, he knows now. No? So, yeah, uh, maybe he will share something. Yeah, but uh, he sometimes shy. Oh, okay. Sometimes just hiding. Gopika, is Gopika here? Gopika. She is the one that also relished this. Special hours. Are you here, Gopika? Mm. Maybe not. Mm. But Udava is there. Udava also was listening all this nectar. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sure, you want to share something? <laughs> She's also. Yeah, just uh, I maybe this is technical issue. Could you open Gurudeva's room of mic? This I wanted to say. Dada uh, Chan, could you open mic or some guest come? Maybe. Seems like a guest. No? Seems like now Gurudev has a guest. That's why he cannot open mic. Seems like. Okay. Rather, rather. Okay, no problem. Yeah, morning class is uh, very amazing. Very intimacy relationships, especially this Vridava morning class. After this Brahma Mufruta special nectar, this remnants, we can enjoy every day. And now, 
I was nitty diddy chewing again. And more nectar come. It's so sweet, and thank you so much. Rade, rade. We need everyone, we need each other. This is what I feel here now. You are you you also listen, you you also give something of your feelings. <laughs> Sorry. What do you feel? Yeah, just to come to my heart. Today I joined the morning class. At that time, uh Birapax Manjari bus eighty-six Radas Pique Anganes. At that time, Without reason, Rada got angry, and Mohan feels very pain. And Tracy saw how Mohan is sorrow. Then Tracy feel compassion. That's why um, Tracy see into Kunja, try to help Mohan. And she said, Mohan, please wait, I can check. And how Trashy check is uh, Swamini actually wanted to meet Mohan. This situation, Anganes is already gone. Just she saw how Swamini wanted to see. But Trashy feels it. This is one point what I learned from this leader. Our Manjari is never judged. Our manjari never forced, just first feel how Swami is feeling. This is very important seva. Not do anything, first see and feel Swami is feeling. That's why we need to cultivate our heart soft and in any moment in this life, we always to open our heart, make our heart soft to feel others' feelings. This I run, and again Lila, then mm. Trashy see, then Swamini is very wanted to Mohan. Then Trashy asks, why you got angry so much this time? Then Su Swamini says, yeah, because Rarita says. <laughs> At that time, Trashy can choice. It's Ignoa, you are Swamini. You can just go to Mohan, but Trashi is very intelligent. What Trashi goes to, and what Trashi doing is goes to Rarita. And take Rarita, from Rarita, permission to calm down Radarani's anger and speak. After this, get permission, Trashi go back to Swamini. Means this is also intelligent. Because Manjari always sees a situation feeling, but not force anything. Not manage anything. Not control anything. See the situation and ask mercy, get permission, then go back to Swamini. Means Utabaji shared that this get permission from Rarita is blessing also. And with this blessing, Rada can console her anganes. Then finally, very thick point, Rada and Mohan meet. And another question come this morning from Utabaji. Why Rada's anganes is full of rasa? This is also important and uh, interesting subject. Why Rada's anganes is so full of rasa? Because anganes is full of passion. When Swamini get angry, of course no think, just full of feelings and very passionate. Surfacely sees anganes, but Manjari sees this inner deep love to Mohan. Otherwise Swamini never angry like this. That's why it's not a uh, uh, it's different material, Anganes, of course. But Manjari always sees the beauty of uh, Rada, especially Anganes moment. Rada is uh, very famous, uh, like a lady, no Anganes. 
But this time, Rada is angry so much. Means how Rada is, how Rada loves Mohan very much. Then, Manjari sees the, that moment. Oh, this is the peak of love. Like this. I'm not sure it uh, <laughs> makes you happy, but this, this morning just a uh, we lesson shared and come to my heart. Lade, lade. Beautiful, thank you. It's interesting. Radhika's, Radhika's anger, sometimes without reason, sometimes with reason. And Radhika's anger, I think, represents how much she loves Moha. And also, like Radhika's anger, Deep, uh, we could see many, many feeling of Radhika, like a Kira Kinchita. Many different feeling and different emotion. That emotion, Mohan enjoy. And uh, Manjari also could enjoy. And uh, then Mohan is completely subordinate. Radhika control Mohan completely. This is Madanakya Mahababa and crazy. Too much crazy. Too much love and too much crazy. And uh, she is Krishna Mai. Whatever he see, only Mohan. Black things, everything more. <laughs> this is interesting. How, how much one pointed she has? She has so one pointed. So this is, uh, we are, we try to be, try to learn from our Swamini. This is, this Lila is very deep. And uh, this variation makes Lira more tasteful. Variation of Lira, variation of feeling, variety of feeling. This is very interesting. So just now listening to these sharings, I remember and the story just now, uh, today, Gora Chandra mentioned this, uh, um, Bhagavad, what is, what is it? Srimad, Bhagavata Mahatma. At that time, Bhakti can get alive just in Vrindavan. But, Jnana and Vairagya still old. That's why Bhakti asked shelter from Narada Muni, his mother. Narada Muni, how can I revive them? Then Narada Muni said, Chant Shirimad Bhagavata, listening. And they are listening, uh, sweet kata. Then they are, they can get power again. They become young. From this, what we can understand is like this now. We are listening, uh, sweet kata, how sweet Radha and Mohan. Then, it's impossible, only Jnana, only Vairagya, we never get this kind of rasa. Even though our body is in Vrindava, it's impossible. This Shravana, listening from Rashika Vaishnava, is really survive. This is the only way, means, uh, Goranga Mahaprabhu said, chant Maha Mantra, chant Harinama means glorification of this Maha Mantra means Yugara Kishora. Just remember the beauty and just remember our original position is the only way. 
to go back in this Kariyuka. <laughs> this is what I remember. Rade, rade. I think this from Bhagatam, this feeling come into Jnana and Bhairagya. Because feeling become, make us young. And feeling become, make us more lovely, more tasteful. So Bhagatam is full of rasa. The sugar deva say, eh, P Bhagata, Bhagavata, Rasa Marayam, Mufu, eh, this is so much rasa, <clears throat> so much tasteful. So Kishori is, I think, saying is right. Because this feeling makes Jnana Bhairaga become, become awake and become younger. Similarly, we also, if we hear sweet harikata, uh, full of feeling, means full of raga, full of rasa, then we may become, how much old become, become like young. Gurudev looks like <laughs> very young because he's drinking so much rasa, so much nectar of this feeling, Mahababa. This is, so this is, uh, we are fortunate to, to hear Harikata from Rashika Vaishnava. That's I am feeling. Thank you. This is real Chaitanya Charita Amrita. This is Goranga Mahaprabhu's message I feel from you. Well, thank you. Yeah, because Chaitanya is consciousness. And Amrita means nectar, also a finish of birth and death. So this is. Uh, and uh, this consciousness, from consciousness, we can have feeling. So it means Mahaprabhu is full of feeling. Maya Bhadi philosopher criticized him. What kind of sentiment, what, what kind of sentimentalism he, he has, you know, with always chanting and crying. Actually, we understand Maha Mantra means feeling, full of Baba. But this Baba is according to how much received from our Guru Dev and our Acharya. So this is uh, Maha Mantra is feeling, full of feeling. So therefore, Mahapava is always crying. And Goswami is also full of crying and looking for Herade Buraja Devi Ke Chararite. Always looking for Radhika and Radhika's Moham. So it's very beautiful. Charade, I like how you say that it makes us full of nectar and this nectar is the nectar of not only service because in the beginning i don't know what is the service right mm -hmm. i i do bhakti because i believe that this is a very good thing but two things also make me very attracted to bhakti when i started this is this immortality because we are suffering here in this world because of this duality of good and bad and up and down and old and die and young and enjoy. This all makes us so crazy because we know or we feel that we are the soul. And so when we, we want to come to the soul feeling, actually, then we... Oh, Suniti, stop it. Connection is may not.
。いや、too much ecstasy now, s e e too much ecstasy. Please. <laughs> And、uh, so, oh. Oh. Now, Daddy, now, I think but, I was cut but, out.、No? You are too much ecstasy, you know. You are freezed, you know. You are faint, it seems. Oh, still connection is not so very good. So, so, Suniti, so actually, this I feel Mahaprabhu's mercy, especially in old people, also very good, especially newcomer is coming. And that g i v e us so much life, so much energy, so much, what do you say? I feel so much mercy of Goranga Mahaprabhu. I don't know, Ma Bhakti Himagiri, he l i s t e n you know, she brought so many new people. I also, I met, I, now I met new people, many new people, and then new, new people give us so much power, so much nectar, so much feel the mercy of Goranga Mahaprabhu. You know, you also remember when we distribute the book and then new people come, we are like become, you know, like,、uh, like so, so ecstasy. And Prabhupada is his old and make his like jumping. So this is,、uh, this Harikata also, this distributing so much nectar. You know, we could not stop it. And、uh, even though, you know, bodies, you know, bodies weak or, you know, we are, looks like very old, but、uh, if here Harikata become young, like g y a n a b a i r a yeah. So Gurudev also become younger. Okay, we talk too much, maybe. Okay, Andakaji, sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. <laughs> Ecstasy. <laughs> Beautiful. And、yeah. then also very good. Guru David's God's very good. So, could you please continue?、Uh, okay. Sorry, Andakaji, I came a little later. On which page are we now? Now we are page 70. Thank you. Yeah. So, We continue reading small subtitle in Svarupa Vesha. So Gurudev, Gurudev shares We cannot divinely see without Svarupa Vesha. When we are in the Svarupa Vesha, what we see is transcendental. What is transcendental? Svarupa Shakti is Swamini. And she is giver of devotion. And what she gives now in Svarupa Vesha, you can see.、Hmm. Same, like Swamini's nature will come blissfulness and truthfulness. Without Svarupa Vesha, when I am not in my Svarupa Sida Deha, I cannot see the Svarupa Sida Shakti.、Mm. We only 
talk about God because we have no desire to develop my Siddha Deha. Wow, this is a heavy point, isn't it? It, it sounds very heavy. <laughs> it can be misunderstood. Because in the beginning, of course, we have to know Krishna a little bit. Mm. We want to know why we are practicing this bhakti and how Krishna is such a, you know, all attractive personality of Godhead. That was Prabhupada's mission also. But Gurudev is speaking here about the people who after 20 years of practice are still in this you know, habit of talking about God. And this can be after 20 years of practice or many, many years or many lifetimes even, it can be an obstacle to only talk about God. And talking means, ah, yeah, I try to be God conscious. I try to be you know, a good person, I do my rituals, I do my arati, I do my puja, I do my my mantras, I do, and I try to be a good person in front of God. But Gurudev is giving here a little bit a pinch that he says, if we are only staying there and we don't go into the deep understanding of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, appearing, we will stay in the circle of that consciousness. And also Narayan Maharaj did the same. And also Prabhupada, I found the quotes where he says, if we stay only in this external understanding and feeling of God consciousness, that is not enough. We need to go if we really want to get the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as we have heard, we need to go deeper into our spiritual identity. And I am so excited about that. Why? Because before, maybe uh, in the beginning of our practice of bhakti, it was not so available. But by the mercy of the Rasika Vaishnavas, now it is so available. It is there, we are discussing, we get to feel the Chaitanya Chaitamrita from a different level now, from the Rasika level, from the perspective of Swamini and how to be her Dasi and how to go in that direction. So those of you who are coming now to Bhakti, like Jainanda Maharaj was saying, we are so ecstatic that you are all here. Because by uh, discussing and hearing about that, not only do I have a benefit, because I also, you know, I cannot be like I was tw 30 years ago. I don't want to be a preacher of Krishna consciousness. You know what I mean? Just telling the people how to be uh, God conscious. No, now I want to learn how to always feel and speak, uh, or as much as I can, from the feelings of the Darcy. And that will create, in my consciousness also, the Swarup. Because now I am glorifying Swamini. And why do I glorify Shimati Radhika, because now I have mercy that I am her Dasi. My Gurudev gave me this, you know, how do you say that? Confirmation. He told me. And so that is, if we only stay on external consciousness of being good person, being religious, that will not develop my eternal personality as a Darcy. That's why Gurudev is giving this a little bit, uh, you know, shocking statement that he says, 
We only talk about God because we have no desire to develop my sitter there. And that is, you know, it was at that time also for us that who we were sitting there in front of Gurudev and we tried to talk like before about Krishna and we learned the verses and we were shocked that Gurudev was not so much interested in that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he was not impressed. His feelings were not really um, enhanced. He was not so much, you know, in, in, the, in the beginning, especially, he had to, to train us to come to this, you know, to, to leave this old habit. Because we were very much trained to learn the verses, to recite the Shastras, and to just be in that kind of like, like maybe a good Buddhist, you know, or like a good Christian. We were the good Hare Krishnas. You know what I want to say? But now comes the mercy of Swamini through Gurudev. He will teach us now how to be a Dasi, how to Dasi feels. And this was a new level. And that is the time he was saying that. And then he always check us, check us. Where are you now in your consciousness? And don't only accept this Dasi bath as an idea, a philosophical thing. No. Grow into it. Be there. Always check, where am I right now? That I want to add, because otherwise maybe we misunderstand the statement. No, I wish to add a little bit. This is Mahaprabhu's story. We, can, we only talk about Mahaprabhu's Krishna. You know, but... If we have developed our Swarupa, Sita, Deha, then we feel Mahaprabhu is Radhika. So this is completely different, uh, how do you say, different uh, perspective, Bhaiti Bhakti and Raga Bhakti. So by the bhakti, we are always thinking about God. We are always servant of God. But Daga Bhakti, we are we see Mahaprabhu Radhika Swamini. And we are thinking we are Dasi, Dasi of Swamini, Dasi of Radhika. So just just I want to say a little bit. <laughs> Radhe Radhe. Oh, oh, our Gauravani. My Gauravani. And Gauravani. Okay. Radhe Radhe. I, I just thought maybe this is the difference between Dharma in the sense of Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha mm. and Sanatan Dharma. Mm. Because Sanatan means always there. Mm. It is always in the heart. It is your nature. Like Nitya Sita Krishna Prema Satya Kabunoi. It's always there. It doesn't have to be created. So Gurudev wanted to, to give us this hint. Don't just do Dharma. Because you can be a nice God conscious person, but you want to create actually later on. Um, again, karma, because now you are doing nice activities that you have later on some good, um, how you say, a goodness, a result. Yes. So, but Sanatan Dharma is something else. Sanatan Dharma means you are really going back in your real position. You're going back in Ladini Shakti, back home, in your position as servant of Radha eternally. And that's something completely different. So Gurudev, in his mercy, told us so many points in such a very simple way that everybody could actually first accept it and maybe later on by reflecting on it, understood at least in my case, it's often like this, that first I accept in the heart because I feel 
uh, it must be important. It sounds very simple. And then later on, I get the deep point actually behind it. And Prabhupada is always writing about Sanatan Dharma. Yeah, this is just what I wanted to add on that. So Nididiti inspired us, like always. Yes, always she inspired. Hmm. Jananda Ji, oh, yes, yes. now is um, past 9.30. Oh, oh. <laughs> time flies. Yeah. Time flies. So... And uh, our Gora Bani also came, Mahaprabhu <laughs> yeah. Maybe what to do? A little bit more, sen maybe a few sentences that's, you know, it's good. Okay. So, Swarupa Shakti, how can I see Shakti of Swarupa? When I don't want to go in my Swarupa. <laughs> No desire. Desire is there, but for many material projects. What? My God. This is very, very interesting. Rade, rade. I forgot one point actually. Can I add? Sure. It, it's about Vairagya. Okay. Because sometimes in Dharma we also make varak, Vairagya. So we are not taking this and not taking that and we don't have any uh, sex and we don't have uh, any whatever. So we are doing Vairagya in many forms. But actually, what is it? I was really reflecting about this. It's still material. If it's from that point of view of Dharma. Because I actually don't want to have this, but later on, I want to have more of that. <laughs> That's why I don't want to take this now. So actually, it's the other side of enjoyment, of give me, give me. So it's just the other side of give me. I will not take now. Please give me later more of that. And that's why we need Sanatan Dharma. Mm. For me, this was the last day, so very, very clear, actually. Mm. I'm just reading Bhagavad Gita again. And it's a completely different view now. I didn't read it for some years. And it's such a wonderful, different view. Gurudev, really, really opened the eyes with the light. And now the light on Bhagavad Gita is also completely different. Sorry. Jai <laughs> Shirati. Thank you. Very good insight. <laughs>